Hello my wonderful students. How are you all? I hope you all are staying good and healthy at your places. Yes? Welcome back to your science class. So students, today again we will do our back exercise question of chapter number 2 that is nutrition in animals. Students, as in our previous video, we have completed our B part, very short answer, right? I hope every one of you have written the answers in your notebook. Very good. So students, today in this video, we will do and cover our C part and that is short answer questions. So open your book and open your notebook. I hope students, every one of you have opened your science textbook along with your science notebook. So students, today we will do back exercise questions of chapter nutrition in animals. So everyone open page number 22 students. And we will do part C that is short answer questions and we have to answer in a sentence or a two. So let's read question number one. What is question number one? It says that how does a frog catches its prey? So how does a frog catches its prey? So the answer is a frog catches its prey using its long and sticky tongue. As we have seen in our video that frog catches its prey by using its long and sticky tongue? Yes. So the answer is this. Everyone write the answers along with me. Write the question and then the answer by seeing the video. Moving further. Next question is. Question number two. How does a spider digest it food? its food? So you have to tell that how does a spider digest its food? So... What is the answer? Yes, a spider injects digestive juices into the body of its prey which digest their body parts. So in this way, a spider digests it, its food. I hope everyone is writing. Very good. Let's move further. So next question is, you have to tell the organ that make up the human elementary canal. So what are those organs that make up the human elementary canal? So the answer is organs that make up the human elementary canal are mouth, phenex, oesophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. So these are the organs that make up human elementary canal. As we have seen in the diagram of a human digestive system, these are the main organs that make up human elementary canal. Moving further to question number 4. Yes, so question number 4 says that what is the difference between milk teeth and permanent teeth? So you have to tell the difference between milk teeth and permanent teeth. So students, as I have already told you that if there is a word difference, then always you have to Mark a line in between like this. As it is shown in this picture or in this slide. See, milk teeth is written on one side and permanent teeth are written on another side. So, like this you have to answer. So, under milk teeth what comes that milk teeth are 20 in number. So, milk teeth are 20 in number and permanent teeth are 32 in number. Right? Second point, milk teeth starts falling out by the age of 6 years. So milk teeth start falling out at the age of 6 years. And permanent teeth as the word permanent means these are permanent, right? So permanent tooth does not fall throughout the life until when it falls until if there is any deficiency. If there is any deficiency in a person, so then they start falling otherwise they do not fall, right? So write along with me students. Very good. So yes, next question. Question number 5. What is saliva and where it is produced? So you have to tell that what is the meaning of saliva, bache, and where is it produced and where is it produced in our body? So answer is saliva is the watery and slippery secretion and where it is produced? Produced inside the mouth. Yes. Saliva is produced inside our mouth? Yes. Yes. So this is the answer. 
Yes, yes. Now we move further. Next question. Question number six. So question number six says that what is the function of taste buds? So now you have to tell in one word the function of taste buds. So what is the function of taste buds? So the function of taste buds is that to detect the various states. Yes. So taste bud detects various states like sweetness, saltiness, sourness, and bitterness of the food. So write this answer like this. Right, student. Moving further. Question number seven. So question seven says that how long does food stay in the stomach? So you have to tell that how long does food stay in that stomach? So how long it stays? See here. Food can stay in the stomach from a few minutes to a few hours. So minutes stay. Food stays in our stomach from a few minutes to few hours. It also depends on its type. Uh, is we are eating any solid food or we are taking any liquid or something like that? See, if solid food we are eating, then solid food stays in the stomach for four to five hours, right? But if we are taking some liquid food, then they remain only for a few minutes, right? So this is the answer. Moving further, question number eight. Question eight says that. How does the presence of acid in the stomach helps? So you have to tell that how does the presence of acid helps the stomach? So how does it helps? So the acid in the stomach helps in digesting proteins. So it helps in digesting what proteins, and it also kills the bacteria that enter the stomach through food. So this is the answer of question number eight. I hope students, every one of you have written the answers in your notebook. Very good. So students, now we will continue this video and we will do our deep part that is long answer question in our next video. So till then, stay safe, stay home and stay healthy. Bye students.